My name is Kirie. I'm from Rwanda. And this is not a reality show. I'm learning agriculture here in China. And this is my research field area. I hope I can make crop more productive and suitable to my country. That's why I'm here in China. Uh, this is Amhui Agriculture University. Here in our lab, my major is uh, crop genetic and breeding. My research and advice. Uh, you guys know you are longing right. Uh, he's a father of hybrid rice. Uh, he developed the first hybrid strain, strain of rice uh, that pull out countless people out of hunger. And uh, he's a hero. And that's my dream, actually, to go back in my country and uh, follow his footsteps. As an agricultural power, China is helping other countries to develop their agriculture uh, sectors, uh, especially uh, developing countries. As an example, I can say that my own supervisor did a project on Africa where he sent them uh, a rice variety called uh, Green Super Rice and that variety was really productive uh, according to the Africa environment and it has also higher yielding capacity. So I'm looking forward as a, a student here in China to see if I can apply this knowledge and increase the productivity of rice back there in Africa. In China there is a phrase called Pakhi, which means that Pakistan and China friendship is unbreakable. In Pakistan, uh, wheat bread is our staple food and wheat is a major crop of our country. I have been in China about uh, nearly five years and it's uh, very open and inclusive. I like uh, many farmers like me come uh, in China and uh, learn the knowledge of agriculture. Hey bro, how did you make today? I made the rich bread for you. You can have a try. Oh it looks nice. Yeah. Can I just test? <laughs> yes, you can test the try. What, what is this? It's a wheat bread. Mm -hmm. The staple food of my country, Pakistan. Oh wow, yeah. that's yes. good. <laughs> Our university has strong scientific power in agriculture and also have many advanced techniques and facilities. Uh, then and in the summer I am about to get my PhD degree and my hope is uh, with all my technology and knowledge which I learned here I used uh, to grow more uh, productive varieties in Pakistan uh, for Pakistan people and for the whole world. I am Atayib Ali from Sudan. Dryness and heat are the initial characteristic of the country's climate and agriculture is one of the main pillars of Sudan national economy. However, the main challenges are how to solve electricity generation and agriculture problems, such as lack of irrigation and high temperature. I wondered how I could help Sudan to solve these problems. But now, in USTC, we find a solution. The new photovoltaic agriculture. It produces plant with an optimized wavelength spectrum for photosynthesis that increasing plant growth and crop yield can generate electricity, reduce water evaporation, making previously unsuitable dry land feasible for farming. I have got some good news the China, Sudan, Photovoltaic Agriculture Joint Lab on the way. So with advanced agricultural technology, I hope Sudanese could have more kinds of fruits and vegetables to plant in the future. I want to thank the Health and World Initiative. China is always willing to share its development with us.